Henry Crosby, which is Nelson's brother, he shared with me that Nelson was 17 at the time and their mother signed for him to enlist in the United States Army because he was so determined to serve his country. Private First Class Crosby was assigned to the Abel Company, the 1st Battalion, 32nd Infantry Regiment, 7th Infantry Division. He was one of approximately 2,500 United States soldiers assigned with 700 soldiers of the Republic of Korea to the 31st Regimental Combat Team in November of 1950. On November 26, the 31st Regimental Combat Team took their position two miles north of the Chosen Reservoir's Hungary Inlet. They hurriedly set up defensive perimeters amid rough terrain and high elevation, which provided little security and it made their communications difficult. Now, on the night of November the 27th, the 31st Regiment received the first of many attacks from a group of Chinese volunteer forces which had entered the war in support of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. As the forward-most unit, the 31st Regimental Combat Team took on the heaviest attacks. Following these continued attacks, it was determined the best action was to withdraw to the south and rejoin the rest of the 31st. And as they made their withdrawal, the Chinese volunteer forces continued their attacks in attempts to prevent the units from rejoining. The situation continued to worsen over the next four nights, but the 31st Regimental Combat Team was able to hold and it enabled the column to move south. As they fought to clear enemy roadblocks, Private First Class Crosby and the task force continued to face relentless attacks. And as the casualties continued to rise, the task force dissolved on December the 2nd. Fighters. There were 319 American and Republic of Korea soldiers that were rescued, which was the most successful rescue mission of the Korean War. However, Private First Class Crosby was not among those survivors. He was reported missing in action in Korea on December the 2nd, 1950. Private First Class Nelson Crosby was faithful in his service to his country. He demonstrated loyalty and devotion and was steadfast in his duties to the very end. And he sets an example of love for country and courage in his duty that all of us can follow. But I also see the faithfulness of the Crosby family to remember Nelson. The uncertainty of all that had transpired and not knowing Nelson's whereabouts was always on the minds of his family. There are several letters from Nelson's father, Ernest Crosby, written to the office of the Quartermaster General, continuing to seek information about the remains of his son. 